discovered what luxury home buyers are looking for or what it is that makes your home consist of being a luxury home, well, Inman just put out a report and Inman is a real estate resource and they just put out the top eight things that luxury buyers are looking for. So we're here to talk about that today. Let's tell you. Here it is. Uh, I'll start it off with number one, which I think is really cool and very helpful during this COVID time as well, is outdoor amenities. Uh, something that we've been seeing trending for quite a while, yes? So like um, built-in barbecues, um, big, huge, giant patios, covered outdoor spaces, like heaters, heaters, heaters. built-in heaters, definitely, fire tables, um, built-in fire pits. TVs. T who doesn't want to watch a football game outside? Uh, anyway, yeah, outdoor amenities are just huge right now, both because of the pandemic and also because people are liking to entertain at home. So, outdoor amenities is number one. Yep. Number two, Inman reported that kid-friendly features were uh, an important concept to have for a luxury home. Um, kid-friendly features consist of in-ground in trampolines, uh, swimming pools, play structures, um, Yeah, you kind of want your house to be the cool house. You want your house to be the house that all 100%. the kids come to, right? Mm -hmm. So kid from the big community. bonus rooms away from the rest of the house. Probably that that serves everybody. Mm -hmm. It really does. Sure That's does. more of like a mom and dad feature. I suppose, <laughs> I suppose everyone wins on that one. <laughs> Number three, work from home spaces. Mm -hmm. Home offices have often been a luxury. They have never been so sought after as they have this past year. People now want a work from home space for themselves and then they want to work from home space for their children or they yeah. want both spouses now work from home and they each need a place where they can get on Zoom, hopefully get away from the fray and conduct business. It's yeah. going to be our new normal. So work from home spaces are huge. Yeah, never have we ever been asked so many times for dueling yeah. uh, offices. Mm -hmm. um, and then also people are paying attention to what their Zoom background looks like. So they want like a Zen space. They really want it to be a, a working functioning home office rather yeah. than just a staged room. That stores books <laughs> and a printer and a, and a, and a big desktop. Yeah. Probably the most yeah. used room in the house yeah. this year. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, let's see, next would be sporting areas. So this is huge as well. Um, again, getting outside, getting those kids engaged and off the screens. So sport courts, um, basketball hoops, pickleball. Um, batting cage. Ba batting cages. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, we just actually showed a house recently that had a golf simulator down in the basement. We're both big golfers, EJ's a golfer. Uh, who doesn't want to, especially in our climate, have a place indoors that you can go hit balls and you get into a screen, it's awesome. And it tells you how far the ball goes. Anyway. And even if you're not a good golfer, it still works and will show you how far you didn't hit it. Totally. So and it's really it's fun, fun for all. It's you fun can just all. go down and just hit golf balls and yeah. get on a screen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, that was a big one. Yeah. What's next? Um, number five is home gyms. Mm -hmm. So get your bow flexes put in. You need an additional room first for your home gym, but mm -hmm. bow flexes, bench presses, I don't know how many uh, exercise machines I can take yeah. out. Well, we've got oh. Peloton junkies right Probably. here. Me? No. <laughs> okay. Allie. You, your need, you need your Peloton room. Yes. I actually have a client right now. The Peloton room is high on the list because she gets she has the tread and the bike. Mm -hmm. So we need to find a proper space for both. Yeah. Um, well, also, um, we, we don't want to take away from we love to support small business. So those fitness facilities oh, that are out there, um, don't mind us. Uh, but what we noticed during the pandemic is a lot of fitness facilities around us at least have pivoted and they're going to stay with the Zoom classes even when they go back to full in person. So that's really cool to have a space in your home that you can tune in to your uh, fitness center, your bar classes, yeah. your local uh, gym, your local gym and, and Zoom in to your, uh, to your uh, workout class. Yeah, so supporting the local companies and getting your sweat on at home. Exactly. Very big. Salons. I, this one, I think it's a little salons. bit of a surprise we for were, our area. Yeah, we haven't seen yeah. a lot of in-home salons. I mean, we, Real Housewives of Gig Harbor, sure. get your glam on because apparently home salons are a thing. I, I was unaware, but because Eric's happy to shave his head in, in, in our <laughs> sink. But um, <coughs> this is pretty bougie and fabulous that Inman reports that number six on the list is having a home salon. So your glam squad can come to you. Glam squad comes to you. I think it does have to do with the pandemic, obviously. Hair salons were closed for a long time. Um, a lot of people didn't want to go to the nail salons. So having the hair person come to you, I don't think it sounds that bad. I just am not 
likely to have that kind of square footage <laughs> at this time yeah. in my life. Yeah. But awesome. Or, or team of people. Or glam squad, really. <laughs> I'm gonna say no to it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn it down. Amazing. Okay. But Shay, I'm still coming to you. <laughs> <laughs> Your job is very safe. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Next, oh, I'm up. Yeah. Kitchens with storage. Yeah, this is kind of a no-brainer. Uh, big kitchens. Um, again, people love to entertain in the home. Something that we have seen in the years past uh, is people really focusing in on pantries. So I think that this pandemic, again, really hit home to that, having your, all your toilet paper in the appropriate place. Um, but People don't want their toasters or their coffee makers yeah. or anything like that out in their kitchen. And how so about ovens? Lately, I've seen a couple pantry. new homes being built, beautiful homes, and the ovens are all in the pantry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this also goes along with the kind of the switch. We're heading into some more modern, sleek uh, trends right now. Mm -hmm. And so modern kitchens are very clean lines. So I think that goes mm -hmm. with what you're saying there so yes um, pink, big pantries uh, kitchen with lots of storage uh, um, uh, people love to see the pull-outs in the cabinets yes um, again the ice, that ice makers in. ice makers wine storage that type of stuff definitely in home bars <laughs> beverage refrigerators the bike sorry excuse the bike <laughs> All right, last but not least, Number definitely eight. CJ's this is, favorite. Yeah, my favorite one is sanitizing <laughs> amenities. We have a sanitizing amenity in our room, 750 square feet. <laughs> um, if you have enough square footage for a sanitizing amenity room, yeah, you're living in a mansion. Yeah. I, I do think, though, that this is, again, the pandemic. I have I have heard of mothers and other people delousing their children when they come home. So That sounds really like, I don't know, like mid, like mid, like should I not use the word delousing? Delousing feels oh, like, right. I don't know, mid-century, kind of I hope early 1900s like stuff. Like <laughs> Yeah. Well, maybe I used the wrong word. I like it, but it gets the point across. It's all good. It's, I like it. It's great. We need to be clean. Okay. Yeah, I, I just think it's a nice thing to spritz down before you come in or mm -hmm. make the kids take off their jackets in the mudroom area. Mudrooms yes, have mud always room. been really popular mud around here. I guess that would be considered a sanitizing method. I can get yeah. behind a mud kicking big mudroom. Kicking your shoes off in the mudroom? Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, we love a good mudroom. We don't want to stray from what the Edmund Report said. No, they're the right? experts. They're We're the just experts. reporting. And giving our commentary. <laughs> On that, reporting to yes. you yes. as a KC team. What you luxury heard. home buyers are looking for. You heard it here first. <laughs> I guess that's it. Yeah. Oh, you know what? We didn't even talk about. We got bougie and had champagne for a luxury discussion. <laughs> it seemed so appropriate. It did. Cheers. 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 Have a great weekend. See you later. Bye. Job for a robot. Our soapbox here. Hi there. We are here. Ugh. Hi there. We <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm shaking it off. Hold on. <laughs> All right, three bloopers, no takes. Hi, guys. <laughs> Zach didn't make